All right, so to start with the pen tool, uh, we are gonna go to our tools right here on the left-hand side, and the shortcut for the pen tool is the letter P, as you can see. Now, if I click with my left mouse button and hold it down, you will notice that we have the pen tool, freeform pen tool, add anchor point tool, delete anchor point tool, and the convert point tool. Now, the other tool that we're gonna use in combination with the pen tool will be found right here. We have the path selection tool and then we have the direct selection tool. We're gonna to be working with the direct selection tool. However, we are gonna do this directly from the pen tool. So I'm gonna go back and select the pen tool. Now the basics for the pen tool are as this. If I click once, I get an anchor point. If I click again, I get a secondary anchor point plus my first path. Now, as soon as I do that, if we go to the path palette on the right hand side of our workspace, you will notice that a new path has been created. We can make this thumbnail right here bigger by going to the path options and we're going to go to panel options and we're going to select the biggest of the thumbnails. Now, this is a temporary path. If I was to close this file right now, this path will disappear. If you want to save your paths, all you have to do is drag this path to the create new path icon, which is the first one to the left hand side of the trash can. And then when I let go, notice that our name work path will go to the word path one. So now once I save this file, the path will be saved. I can create new empty paths by clicking on this icon and I can delete them by just dragging this to the little trash can. Now notice that because I don't have path one selected, right? I clicked on this gray area right here that my path has disappeared. To bring back your path, all you have to do is click on the thumbnail right here. To change the name, all you gotta do is double click on the name right here and just type in whatever you want. And to select this path, usually we would go to the direct selection tool, which is the letter A. However, the two shortcuts that we're going to use on a PC, the Control and the Alt key, and on a Mac, we're going to use the Alt key and the Command key or the Apple key. Now, on a PC, if I was to hold the Control key, I can select this object right here. On a Mac is the Command key or the little Apple. Now, notice that I'm on the Pen tool. I'm going to hold the Command key on a Mac and I'm just gonna do a click and drag to select my path. To select this specific anchor point, I'm gonna do a click and drag. Try not to click directly on the anchor point because you may move it by mistake. So again, I'm gonna hold the command key on a Mac, control on PC, and I'm gonna click on the canvas so nothing is selected. I can also do that here if I go to the path palettes and click on this gray area. And now my path has disappeared. Again, click on the icon, and while holding the command key, control on a PC, just click and drag, select the path, or select the specific anchor points you wanna move. Now, notice that inside of the pen tool, right, you have the freeform pen tool. I never use this tool, but I always use the add anchor point, delete anchor point, and the convert point tool. Now, I'm gonna show you why you don't have to go to this menu right here and select these, because they are part of your pen tool. To continue a path, Right. Notice that with the pen tool is selected. If I move to one of these anchor points, my pen tool will change to show this little circle on the bottom right hand side. That means that we can continue the path. If I click on this anchor point, now I can add more anchor points. Now notice that I have straight lines right here. That is because I clicked on the canvas and I did not do a click and drag. If I was to do a click and drag, this is what I would get. Click and drag. Now what I have is an anchor point with two handles, what we call a Bezier curve. Now if I click and drag again, and I move my handle while holding the left mouse button on the canvas, notice that I can control these handles. I can stretch them or I can shrink them. To finish my path, I would click anywhere that I want and I would hit enter or return, the path disappears. But again, go to your path, click on the icon. Here's your path. And if we want to select it, command key on a Mac, control on a PC, click and drag. Again, I can click 
the curve, or I can select specific anchor points, or I can select the entire path with all the anchor points or per anchor point. If I want to add more anchor points, I hold the shift key at the same time that I'm holding the command or the control key on a PC, and I can add more anchor points. Excellent. Now, how do we convert these curved anchor points with the handles to a sharp one? And how do we go from a sharp one to a round one? Well, again, I could go to the pen tool and select my convert point tool at the very bottom. Or what I can do is I can hold the Alt key and then use move on top of one of these anchor points. And if I move to, for example, this sharp one, all I have to do is move my pen tool on top of the anchor point and notice that it turns into an arrow. Same thing for the curve anchor points. Now, if I was to click on this specific rounded anchor point once, notice that it turns into a sharp anchor point. Now, if I move on top of a sharp anchor point and then I do a click and drag, notice that I bring my tangents handles. Okay. Now, with the pen tool, we can control these handles by holding the command key on a Mac, control on a PC. Now, the last two tools that we have inside of our pen tool are the add anchor point and the delete anchor point. Again, we're not going to come to the tool palette and select these since the pen tool has all of these three right here. To add an anchor point, all we have to do is move your mouse on top of one of the path sections and notice how the pen tool will get a plus sign on the bottom right hand side. That means that I can add like this another anchor point. Now if I move the pen tool on top of an anchor point, whether it is sharp or round, notice that I will get a minus. That's because the pen tool thinks that you want to delete this anchor point like so. Again, to add an anchor point, move the pen tool on top of one of the paths. And if you want to delete a specific anchor point, move your pen tool on top of that anchor point and you will get the minus symbol right here. Et voila. You can add as many anchor points. And if you want to convert a rounded anchor point like this into a sharp anchor point, just hold Alt key and then move your pen tool on top of the anchor point and there you have it. If you want to turn this one again into a rounded curve anchor point, hold the Alt key and click and drag. If you want to move anchor points around, hold the Command key on a Mac, Control on a PC, select your anchor point and then use move it around like so. And this works for the handles of a curved anchor point. Now, if I want to close this path right here, again, I will go to the end cap of my curve, either this anchor point here. Notice that I get the circle icon on the bottom right hand side, or I can go to this one. As soon as I click on this anchor point, I can continue my paths and I can close it by going to the last open anchor point. Notice that I get a perfect circle with no handles on the bottom right hand side. This means that we are about to close our path. As soon as I do this, here's our path. How do I move an entire path? Well, again, we can hold the command key on a Mac, click anywhere on your canvas, and then just do a click and drag. And notice that all of the anchor points are selected. And then while I'm holding the command key on a Mac or the control on a PC, I can move my path. And this is how we create paths in Photoshop using the pen tool.